A new twist in Florida's Senate showdown this morning with Democrats' top candidate now set to take on Senator Marco Rubio in what is expected to be one of the most high profile, expensive, closest Senate races of the midterms. NBC News confirming today that Val Demings will make it official. The congresswoman and former police chief, remember, has been on the short list. She was to be Joe Biden's running mate. She's now a big player in police reform talks on Capitol Hill. This, of course, would also open up a House seat for Democrats who already have a slim majority there and makes the Florida race one with two nationally known candidates. I want to bring in NBC News senior politics editor Mark Murray. Uh, Mark, talk about sort of short term immediate impact on this candidacy for both parties here. It means that we're going to be watching Florida, Hallie, over the next year and a half or so, and it could end up deciding control of the United States Senate. As you do know, the Senate right now is deadlocked at 50-50, with Democrats holding the vice presidency and thus the tiebreaker in that Senate majority. And it means that being able to put pieces on the Senate map, chessboard, are incredibly important. So Democrats with uh, Val Demings uh, uh, expected to run, uh, giving them an opportunity to pick up this uh, seat uh, is in some ways a counter move to the likely uh, and expected news out of New Hampshire that Republican Governor John Sununu will be uh, challenging uh, Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan, the incumbent. And it all kind of adds up, to, Hallie, to, I think, to me, just an incredibly tight and competitive battle for control of the United States Senate, uh, with uh, now Democrats having as many as I see five legitimate pickup opportunities to three right now for Republicans. Uh, Mark, the way you sort of framed it, right, is, and I, and I thought this was a, a fair way to put it, is that Florida for years has been kind of the Lucy to the Democrats, Charlie Brown trying to kick the football, right? Talk about the current status of the state. What indications there are that, that Congresswoman Demings could end up being successful or not? Yeah, so, Hallie, the only successful uh, Democrat over the last uh, more, decade plus has been Barack Obama, who was able to end up winning Florida in 2008 and 2012. But beyond Barack Obama's victories, uh, Florida has been a political graveyard for Democrats, no matter how competitive the, the race has been. They've lost gubernatorial races in 2010, 2014, and 2018. They've lost key competitive Senate contests in 2016 and 2020. All of them pretty close, Hallie, uh, but it has given, even after the Joe Biden's defeat in Florida in 2020, some Democrats are saying, oh, my gosh, should we keep on playing in Florida? Well, with this news, Democrats are definitely going to keep playing in Florida. The good news for them <laughs> is that these Florida races are usually very close. Democrats just haven't been able to get over the hump. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.